Today's video is all about AAA. And no, we're not talking about batteries. We're talking about authentication, authorization, and accounting management that's provided by the Remote Authentication Dial-In User Service, or RADIUS. In this edition of Tech Talks, we'll show how to configure a RADIUS server next. There are several features that require communication with the RADIUS authentication server on our device. For example, when we configure the virtual access point of our WAP device, we can configure the security methods that control the wireless client access. If we go to wireless and select networks, we're able to choose a RADIUS server under client filter. To kick things off, we'll go to the system configuration section and choose security. Here, we can configure an IPv4 or IPv6 server and backup. For this example, we're choosing IPv4. Next, we'll enter the RADIUS server IP address. We can also add the backup and address too, if need be. For this example, we're only entering one. In the key one field, we'll enter the shared secret key that corresponds to the primary RADIUS server. Our device will use that key to authenticate the RADIUS server. Remember that the key is case sensitive and must match the key configured on the RADIUS server. Again, if we had a backup server, we would enter the secret key from the backup RADIUS. Finally, we will click on Enable RADIUS Accounting. This will enable the tracking and measuring of resources a user has consumed, such as system time and the data transmitted. We'll click on Apply and save our configured RADIUS server settings. It's that easy. We have now successfully configured the RADIUS server on our device. We'll see you next time for another edition of Tech Talks.